Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. I'm Akanksha from Psychologic and today we're going to discuss the Satcher Singer theory of emotions. This video is part of a series focused on the topic of emotions. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. So let's get into it. Most psychologists today believe that our cognitions, that is our perceptions, memories and interpretation of the situation are essential ingredients of emotions. Stanley Satcher and Jerome Singer in the 1960s proposed a two-factor theory in which emotions have two ingredients, a physiological arousal response and a cognitive appraisal of the situation. According to Satcher and Singer, when we experience an emotion, our bodies first experience physiological arousal such as an increased heart rate or sweating. However, this arousal could be caused by a variety of different factors. So, we must then interpret and identify the source of the arousal through cognitive appraisal or appraisal of the situation. This appraisal occurs when we consider the situation we are in and the information that is available to us to determine what emotion we are feeling. They presumed that our experience of emotion grows from our awareness of our present arousal. They also believed that emotions are physiologically similar. For example, your heart beats faster when you are excited or scared or even angry. You are physiologically aroused and look at the external world for explanation. In their view, an emotional experience requires a conscious interpretation of the arousal. If you are aroused after a physical exercise and someone teases you, the arousal already caused by the exercise may lead to provocation. To test this theory, Satcher and Singer in 1962 injected subjects with adrenaline. Adrenaline is a drug that produces high arousal. Then the subjects were made to observe the behavior of others, behaving either in a euphoric manner by shooting papers at a wastebasket or in an angry manner by stomping out of the room. As predicted, the euphoric and angry behavior of others influenced the cognitive interpretation of the subject's own arousal. Another example of the Satcher Singer theory of emotions is a study conducted by Singer and his colleagues in which participants were exposed to a mild electric shock and then asked to report their level of anxiety. The researchers found that participants who were given an explanation for the shock, such as the need to test a machine, had lower levels of anxiety compared to those who were not given an explanation. The Satcher Singer theory of emotions has been applied in various fields, including marketing and advertising. Advertisers often use emotionally evocative images and slogans to create physiological arousal in viewers and then provide an interpretation or explanation for the arousal to influence consumer behavior. Can you identify any such advertisements? Let me know in the comments below. In conclusion, the Satcher Singer theory of emotions suggests that we experience emotions through a combination of physiological arousal and cognitive appraisal. While our bodies may experience arousal in response to a variety of different factors, it is our cognitive appraisal of the situation 
that ultimately determines the emotion we feel. So that's it for today's video. If you're looking for quality mental health resources, do check out my Etsy shop. The link is provided in the description box below. If you like the content of this channel, please like the video and subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon to be notified when the next video comes out. As always, thanks for watching.